All right, so what's your name? Amanda. Amanda, how old are you? 31. Where are you from originally? Phoenix. So what's going on with you? How come you're crying right now? Because I have a boyfriend. You got into it with your man right now? Always. Every day there's something, there's nothing. It's always like that. Why do you stay with him? I've been with him for 13 years. So. Did you meet him out here or what? I met him, yeah, in Phoenix, but not on the streets. So, it... so is he homeless as well? No, he has a house. Does he? He has a house that he goes home to every night. I um, Most of the nights I stay out on the street because my brother's never home, so. I usually live with my brother, but he's never home because he works in the mines, so I'm always out here. He works at the mines? Mm -hmm. We're at uh, the ones over here by Marinci and all mm -hmm. that? Okay. Yeah. So how come you don't stay with your man? Because he's it. He whips my ass almost every day. How come you never call the cops on him? Because I don't call cops. Okay. So you go by that street? Yeah. Um, what do you call this street rule? I grew up with I grew up with thirteen brothers. I'm yeah. the only girl of fourteen kids. I grew up with thirteen of them. They're all gang members, so. So you believe in no snitching? No snitching, no nothing no like snitching. that. Well, you ain't no gang member yourself, no. right? No. So I mean. Still like, uh, still looks bad on my brothers if I do it. And then you know, like, you're not supposed to be hitting women. I know. I know. So you told me that he did what? He, he busted your head with a rock. Yeah. What happened? Let me see. What would you tell him at the hospital when that happened? Oh, nothing. I, I don't. I, I woke up in the hospital. I, I, I he knocked me out cold. Oh, did he? Yeah. That's crazy, man. Yeah. So you're staying out here on the streets. Where, where do you sleep at? Well, I'm not from this. I'm not even. I don't even know why I'm over here, but I'm from in South Side of Phoenix. Yeah. The South Side. I have places to sleep, in, but it's just. I don't even know why I'm over here, though. Like, where do you stay at over there? Do you stay in? Well, my 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 brother. No, my I stay at my brother's house, or I stay at my my grandma's house, or my uncle's house. I don't stay outside. I'm homeless, like during the day, because like I yeah. choose to be. But I have houses to go home to. So. What do you do out here to survive? I hustle. Hustle. Yeah. Whatever. If I need somebody needs something, I go get it for them. And if. So. You can kind of middleman some stuff. Yeah. Is it dangerous out here or what? Sometimes, it could be. Yeah. Other than well, that, no. What kind of stuff have you been through? <laughs> I've been shot, stabbed. I've been, I've been stabbed. I have a BB stuck in my body. Wait, um, is that from what? From just people out just here. Just people out here, like people. No, just. Or <coughs> other homeless people. <coughs> the BBs from my brother. He was. <coughs> he shot me with a BB when I was like little. <coughs> and this all this other because um. Because I, I choose to run my mouth a lot. <coughs> I have a bad mouth. <coughs> so you don't let nobody mess with you out here? Except your boyfriend? I don't even let him f me. I was hitting him back right now. Yeah. <coughs> I don't think nobody. That's good, man. Like. <coughs> so. <coughs> you, got, you, you got a dry throat, huh? That's probably from yelling. yelling. Right. Tell me about your childhood growing up. Childhood growing up, I was, um, well, my mom and dad were into, oh, my dad and my mom were into, <laughs> growing up, so we were homeless as kids, like babies, we were homeless, um, we were living in parks and, and stuff like that, um, my, my dad passed away seven years ago, and right now my mom sits in prison, and she's not gonna make it out, and she has 14 chronic diseases. And I think that's what my problem is with me right now, is my whole attitude. Yeah. And he doesn't understand that. Like. So I, you guys been going through homelessness since ever since you guys were kids? I have, yeah. Were you just with your parents? You didn't have your siblings with you or what? No, it was all of us. Okay. And what, were you guys, you said you guys were sleeping in the car? Or? And we were sleeping in parks, like. And what about CPS, they never got involved? No, my mom never, this is a good thing, my mom never lost us to, due to her use or nothing like that, but. 
But I think that's why my biggest problem is right now is my mom because um, the whole time she was out, she told me to come visit her, to come visit her, and told her it would, and I never did. I was supposed to go to her sentencing, and I never did. Yeah. And now I feel like I'm just gonna. And now I feel like I'm, my mom's gonna, I'm gonna lose my mom now. Sorry. And he doesn't understand that. He doesn't understand this. What I'm, is what's really going on with me. Yes. I got, I got water, but it's been open. I don't. Care. I was drinking. Out I don't there. care. So, yeah, I was drinking out of it, but I was pretty much squirting it. It's, you know? it's cool. I just need to go home now. Do you have any kids of your own? I have one, but my brother adopted her when I went to prison because I went to prison for. It's a girl. How old is she? She's five. Five. And she keeps asking everybody where her mommy's at. Yeah. Is your brother married? So does the she, girlfriend take the role of the? Of she the takes mother? the role of the mom, but she knows that's not her mom. She knows that I'm her. She knows that I'm her belly mommy and stuff. Yeah. So before my mom went to prison, she asked my mom. She goes, "Mommy, where's my, where's my?" Or she goes, "Grandma, where's my mommy at?" And my mom told her that she's, she needs to get help. She's out there sick and she needs to get help. <laughs> It's the truth, though. So, have you been looking to get out of your situation? I do, but he finds me everywhere I go. Like, I'm telling you, he finds me wherever I go. Like, I just went came back from New Mexico because he sent me a plane ticket to, or a bus ticket to get back from New Mexico. What were you doing out there? <coughs> I'm gonna try to start over. I have some friends that live out there, but. Have you ever had a job before? Like maybe once. Maybe once. And I was a cocktail waitress, but. It's because I keep losing my IDs or <coughs> they keep getting stolen or something. <coughs> but I, mean, I have a job lined up as soon as I can get my ID, but. I'm always too busy doing other shit for everybody else around me. I don't even have time to live my own life right now. I really don't. I don't live my own life. I live everybody else's life around me. So. I really hope that cops don't go over there right now. What was he doing? Was he fishing for food or what? He was fishing for fish. He was just fishing to fish. Just but fish? He just, he, well, he eats it too, but he that's what he does. What do people catch in this canal right here? They catch bass. Um, I don't know what they, they are. have bass in there? There's bass. There's catfish. There's, um, I don't know what they call them. It's called something white, something white, something. I don't know. So yeah, they probably just had uh, tilapia or something. No, it's bass. There's um, big mouth bass. And it's just because it's what they love to do. It's like in the past time he says relaxing, but how is this relaxing? All because he thinks I was talking to another dude, or all because he thinks I was. I, I'm supposed to sit still and not say anything when people are around. Like. Is that what happened? Yeah. That's what sparked the fight right yeah. now. Yeah. He thought you were talking to some other dude. Mm-hmm. His homie. Is he gonna be mad because he did an interview? As, as long as you explain to him what it was. Yeah. As long as you explain to him what it was, he probably won't get mad. But if I could do, he probably might be like, "Oh no, you went or something." So. All right, well, hey man, thank you for sharing your story. I really do appreciate it. Are you okay if I post it up on my YouTube channel? Go ahead. And just in case anybody wants to reach out to you with any sort of help or donations, do you have any contact information that you want to share, like an email or anything like that? I don't right now. I um the last one I had, I lost the email address to it. So. Yeah. If they want, I don't know. Um, I'm on 19th Avenue in Southern. That's about it. All right, thank you. Mm -hmm.